Hello, welcome to the next lesson. Let's move on with our project. During this lesson, I will show you how to program virtual buttons and switches of different types on our HMI panel. Let's start. Okay, let's start. Under this video, you can find a link to a project template. Please download this file. You can move this file, for example, to your desktop. Now you have to extract those files. Click right mouse button and you can use Windows extract function or for example WinRAR. Okay, now click twice on projects folder. Now you can see files inside this project. This is the main file that you will open your project with. Here you can see version of TIA portal that this project is created with. Now click twice on this file and our project is opened. Now click project view on the left lower corner. In the project tree you can see a PLC and HMI panel that are already added to our project. We will start our work with this hardware. Okay, now let's start simulation environment for PLC and HMI panel. Click left mouse button on PLC and click start simulation. Click OK. And now PLC sim is started. You can see PLC simulator in this window. Now we will download basic configuration of our PLC to the simulator. Select Overwrite All and click Load. Select Start Module and click Finish. OK. The green LED run is lit up, so now our PLC is running. Now click left mouse button on KTP 900 and click Start Simulation. Now the HMI project is being compiled. You can see it on the right lower corner. Okay, and your HMI panel simulation is ready. You can use function keys below the screen like F1, F2, F3, F4 and you can control your HMI panel with the buttons on the screen. Press go to the course. And here you can see the first screen that we will use during this course. You can see here some switches, buttons, pneumatic actuator with sensors and representation of pneumatic valve. Okay. Both PLC simulator and HMI simulator are switched on. Now let's test if the communication between HMI panel and PLC simulator works properly. I have created some simple code inside this project template. It's right here. So if you click on selector switch one, the pneumatic actuator should extend. Let's see. The valve is activated and the pneumatic actuator is in front position, is extended right now. As you can see, the switch B2.2 is activated right now. It's lit up in green. Perfect, our simulation works fine. 
Let's proceed to the next lesson where we will start declaring first variables to control our pneumatic system. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.